He had an owner, now he has a new home. It's in Peterborough, and now that this alligator is safely tucked away in a zoo, he doesn't look so scary. Problem remains, though, someone in Brampton let this reptile loose. CTV's Michelle DeBay has more. Brampton residents can breathe a little easier knowing this isn't wandering the neighborhood anymore. She's a little cutie, yeah. The feisty young alligator discovered in a backyard Sunday has a new home. The Indian River Reptile Zoo, just south of Peterborough. She's in fairly good condition. She's got uh, good fat reserves on her neck here. You can see that she's eaten uh, recently. There aren't many places for gators to go. Curator Kyle O'Grady says this is Canada's only accredited reptile zoo. And when they got word of the rescue from the Brampton Humane Society, they made room. I was thinking to myself the other day, this is just the first alligator call of the season because it's happening more and more. It's likely the American alligator was someone's pet and deliberately or accidentally released. Officials have since received information about a potential owner but haven't confirmed anything. Under Brampton's exotic pets bylaw, it's illegal to keep an alligator. Right now, this little cutie is about one meter long, but it has a lot more growing to do. Alligators like this can grow up to and beyond four meters. Wow. <whistles> this is the grown-up version, not exactly a plaything. Alligators are not good pets. You notice her mouth is taped shut. Um, that's because she would absolutely bite me if she had half a chance. They have yet to determine whether it's a male or female because it's a somewhat invasive process and they want to avoid undue stress. The new arrival will be quarantined over the next six months, given all the space, heat, care, frozen mice and chicken bits a gator could ever need. Michelle Dubay, CTV News.